Welcome back, Naughty Nation. We're going to show you how to turn this into this. We call it fluid art, the beachy thing. Uh, we're taking a countertop and we're going to turn it into a beautiful beach scene. This one in particular is for a scuba shop. Stay tuned. It's really, really easy. I'm going to show you step by step how you can achieve this exact same result. Check it out. The Naughty Artisan. I've got a uh, countertop here that I'm doing for my friends down at Waterworld Scuba. Um, we're designing it to look like the ocean coming in. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of it online. It's actually really easy to do. So let's get into it. I've designed um, this countertop to fit on top of their existing countertop, so it'll slide right on top. Um, it's just three quarter inch MDF. I put a drop lip on the front of it here. And last night I went ahead and I spray painted. So uh, I want the impression of this being beach with a rolling set of waves coming in from the deep ocean out from, from this way. So I sort of spray painted my gu uh, guidelines here. Um, I did hit it with a little bit of metallic spray with uh, some gold and some brown just to add a little depth and dimension as we work the epoxy to it. Um, this this uh, spray paint is nice and dry. Uh, I didn't want it releasing into our epoxy and causing any problems, so that's why I did that last night. It's all prepped and ready to go. The colors I'm using today for our deep dark ocean is from Eye Candy. It's called Dark Ocean Green. And our next color in is Black Diamond uh, coloring. It's called Cobalt Blue Diamond. Our lightest of our blue colors is Eye Candy's also, and it's Okinawa Blue. And then I decided to add in a little uh, just sparkle into some of our clear that we're gonna do over here in our sand section. Almost, hopefully we'll get like a foam look to it. I've never done that. Probably shouldn't do it on camera for the first time, but what the heck we're going for. It. And that's Eye Candy's Icicle. I've used stone coat countertops, white, white base tint. Um, that's what we're gonna use to use um, our waves and recreate the wave effect. And then we kept a little bit of the epoxy here um, and it's clear. So we're gonna, you'll see how we're gonna use that um, as we go. So what I like to do is start at my deepest uh, dark and work this way. Um, so we use three colors of blue when we do this. You can use more, I personally like the three. Um, we go a dark, a medium, and then a light. You know, obviously we want, want, we want this, this look where the blue is, and then we'll roll in our effects after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we got this nice and mixed up. And I'm gonna apply this to my board over here, right out here. This is kind of where I want to be my deep, like from the deep sea. And so we're gonna have that there. I'm actually gonna leave a little bit in here to work with later. And then next up is our, our next, uh, color of depth is going to be this color blue. So I'm just going to get this and come in just like this. I want all of that there. And then our light colored blue says they come in here. So I'm going to pour all of this right here and we're going to try and work it towards the edge of our our, uh, our table here. Not right, qu quite ready to mix them yet, but check it out. So I'm just gonna get our trowel. I'm gonna try and keep all these colors on the board for now. Um, it's an eighth inch by eighth inch uh, trowel here, so it leaves enough material on the board uh, to work with as I push this around. And I, I wanna take this and I kinda wanna mix, push these colors all the way down in here. And we'll get our blue going over here. And I'm not too concerned about um, the fact that they're mixing up like that, I actually kind of like that. It's making a real nice effect. And we'll come in here. I'm trying to keep it from going over the edge at this point. And just bring it in where our ocean's gonna be. So we got some nice effect going on just like that. Bring this around. So we've got plenty going on here. Then I'm gonna take this, we're gonna come right up to the edge, right up here. Hope you guys can see that, okay? And this is what I'm wanting to simulate my water. Clear out here. I see we've got some trowel lines in there, so I'm gonna chop it out just a little bit. So I've got a chop brush here, and I'm just gonna come in here and break this surface tension a little bit. It's also gonna mix this up a little bit, um, our colorings. 
I've got real uh, deep lines that I don't want showing at the time. Um, it's gonna help blend that together and also help these metallics are gonna kind of fight against each other um, as they uh, position for what they wanna be. And it brings these swirls, these like nice green in, just like in the real ocean. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm an avid scuba diver. Um, I scuba dive a lot. So I spend a lot of time all throughout the Caribbean and different parts of the world scuba diving. Um, I'm connected pretty strongly to the ocean. And so some of these colors just really resonate with me, especially as we take this blue here and bring it into the green, just like we're doing right here. That really looks realistic to me. I've been, I've been places that look just like this um, from an aerial standpoint. <clears throat> Really liking the way that's coming together as well. Take a little bit more of this blue that's here. I'm gonna bring that right into the green. I'm gonna mix that in. Adding a nice, nice nice depth um, almost like the deep ocean that's what we're going for out here the deep abyss we're gonna take this and bring it into here as well just kind of chopping it in i really want that uh that look of the ocean and we're looking good over here we got the blues and the fun stuff all right Stick that there for now. Now I want to add in a wave effect, and the wave effect's kind of funny. Um, what I'm going to do is take an absolute clear, so this is there's no coloring been added to this, and I'm going to run a bit of it right in front of here because this is where I want my my waves to be um, breaking, and then I'm going to run a, a, a bead of white behind it, and then when we get to it, we'll use a heat gun to push it over, and it kind of rides over the clear and makes that splashy look. Um, that we all look for, uh, look for in our, our these things, almost like a beach crashing on the beach. That's what we're looking for. That's our, that's our goal. I'm actually going to use my fingers here to blur these lines a little bit. It looks white. It's just the air in my epoxy. Um, once I hit this with a uh, heat gun, it'll clear right up just like glass. So um, as you can see. It's starting to come together a little bit. Don't follow me. All right, this is the one that's got our stone coat uh, countertop white in. I'm gonna put that right along, almost right on top of the clear that we just did right there. And then I wanna follow it with the uh, pearl. I kinda wanna lock this white into place. So I don't want it flowing too far towards my beach scene. So this pearl I have is, uh, I'm hoping, enough to cover all this beachy stuff I got over here. And if it's not enough, we'll mix them a little bit more up. I've got plenty of clear over there to do that. And I can see my, um, my clear over here. I'm gonna use a clean trowel on this one and it's gonna bring it here and we're going to cover our beach. Yeah, we have plenty of epoxy here. Just like this. At this point, I'm trying to keep everything on the board. <clears throat> so these will be our waves crashing once we hit them with the heat gun here in a second. This is a little deep and dark out here. So I'm gonna take our white and I'm gonna add a little bit more out here. I want it almost the appearance of sets coming in. So this would be smaller. I'm just gonna come down like this. And then I think I'm gonna do one more through here. And then we'll bust that out and see what that looks like and where we go from here. So. Next is the fun part. We grab our trusty heat gun here and we're gonna roll those out. I'm hope, I want a real splashy looking effect this way. So that's what we're going for. You're really able to work your piece with a heat gun, uh, which is one of my favorite things. If you use a torch, it gets a little tricky in your epoxy, um, but this heat gun, really lets me kind of shape this deal. As you can see, I can blow it right on top there. Really get the shape and look that I'm trying to get here.
I'm gonna push this one back about here. As you see, it looks like it's crashing on the coast, which is exactly what I want. I want these ones to come back around right here. And now this white is just, I'm taking, I'm almost at a high angle and I'm rolling it over the top of the clear. So it's got some of that clear um, underneath it that allows you to see down into the water, really gives it that splash effect, in my opinion. So I'm gonna bring this out here a little bit more. We'll push this into our off the board right here. So that's that. I'm gonna have help push this down here. I want it crashing on the beach a little bit as well. And there, we're getting that depth that we're looking for there. So you're really going, as the epoxy thins like this, it's, it's been warmed up, starting to get those streaks that add that fluid movement to it, um, which, is, which is really what we're going for. So I kind of like that here. Then I'm gonna just hit these out here to kind of blend them in a little bit. I don't want them to overdo it. I just want a little accent, um, like there's some waves clear out coming in. So I'm just gonna defuse this a little bit. And as I do it, you can see that it's also blending the uh, additional greens and blues here and really coming to life out here. Just gonna continue to push this I want it up. Like I said, I want it to appear as if there's sets coming in. Set of waves coming in from the deep ocean. I'm going to hit this right across the top. I do not want this to have a line. I'm trying to avoid that man-made look. So I'm going to heat this epoxy up a little bit here so I can come back through and blow it just like that. Get a little bit. I'm actually gonna take this bit right off the board um, so we've got that natural look. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do it again out here in our deep, deep ocean. So I'm gonna warm this up a little bit, just get that that white epoxy ready move and then I'm just gonna hit it just like that. You can see the blues and the greens uh, blending in and giving us that cool effect. Out here, I, we're just gonna really get, a, get the look of uh, movement and fluidity. So I'm gonna blow it just like this. And then I like to use this curving motion like this and it gives it almost a crashing look as it, as it blends these hills. I'm gonna heat this wide up again and then I'm going to do the same, same effect, kind of rolling it over. Regarding heat guns, uh, is there anything particular you uh, look for when you're looking to purchase one for yourself for using for epoxy? Would you? Is there any? That's a great question. Um, in regards to heat guns you're gonna mess them up. See, I've, I've got my tip in, it's smoking. Uh, go to Harbor Freight, buy one for eight bucks because you're gonna end up throwing it away. Um, anything that you wanna keep long-term, we, we wanna make sure we take the extra care. Um, working with epoxy on the regular, it's gonna cause a little bit of messes and uh, that's okay. Um, but you don't wanna go get a expensive tool at the end that you're gonna be regretting that, uh, that you used. Looks like I might have fried a little bit here. Take that right out. All right, I don't like this white bit right in here. It's a little much for me. Uh, so I'm gonna take some of the clear with the icicle that we had, and I'm gonna run it right down the center to help thin that out a little bit. We've got our sparklies in it. And I'm just gonna use my finger here to move it around a little bit. 
you see we kind of get some of that blue coming up through it, um, giving it the, the look of movement. Just like that. All right, what do you guys think so far? Are you guys liking it? It's pretty easy to do, as you can see. Um, I'm not quite done here, but we're not far. We are not far from the end. Um, so we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna hit it with my torch. And let's see where we're at with things. Never get tired of watching those bubbles just disappear when you hit it with the uh, with the heat. I really like this blue section in the middle. It almost glows coming in from the depth. Well, it looks ready to go on a counter ready. Yeah, it's looking good, huh? All right, so there it is. I do want to move it just a little bit to get those really, really straight lines out of it. So I'm going to lift this up, let the epoxy move, I'm trying to keep that angle there. All right, so it's breaking those up. You can see I kind of moved my white off my beach section here. Don't want that, so I'm gonna move that back over that line. And then I'm kind of liking how this is right here. Still don't like how I can see the beach here. No biggie, you got me a little bit of white right here. We'll just work it in. That's the beauty of this stone coat epoxy compared to other epoxies I've used. Um, the long open time, it's about 75 degrees here in Las Vegas, so it's ideal um, for playing with this stuff. I'm actually just gonna use the chop brush because it's got a little bit of these colors in here and I'd like to get that blurred in here. And it's kind of giving me that motion. I'm gonna bring some of that right towards the edge, all in here, all the way down. I want that up. I want that real rough, like it's splashing on the coast. Look there, right there. That's what I'm going for. Push it just a little bit more with the uh, heat gun. And that, my friends, is how you make a beach scene. Um, I'm gonna let this sit. I'm afraid if I overwork it, I'm not gonna like the result. I'm really happy with the way it looks now. Uh, I'm just gonna run a heat gun over it a couple more times to, uh, or the torch, to get any bubbles out that we might have. Um, try this out at home. Let me know what you think. It's a ton of fun. I'll drop the products that I used in the comments below. Um, if you like our video, please give us a subscribe and like it, make a comment. We'll be glad to help you out in any way we can. Super easy, ton of fun. Until next time, go create something. The Nuck Tea Art is The Naughty Artisan. 
Hey, Naughty Nation, if you like this video, please subscribe to us, ring the bell so you can see our projects when they come up in the future. Leave us a comment, drop us an email. We'd love to hear from you.